welcome guys, this is Chessie Blue here with another hack tutorial. This was actually a request that I got on Facebook messaging from one of my viewers who wanted to learn how to get the Hot Rod Rivals code as a game shark code. So in order to do that, it's actually quite simple. So to make the Hot Rods appear, all we have to do is identify a enemy slot. I'm only going to do it for one enemy slot, but if you want to do this for all the other the process, it's exactly the same. So in order to identify the slot, what I've done to make this a lot easier is make a text document with all the cards identified uh, through their PC address values. So it's actually from 0 down to 17. This would change for the horrors, obviously, the values will be higher. All the values will be in the description, which will have the higher values for the horrors. So to identify the first enemy slot, we know that the marathon is now value 11. So for the exact value, make sure it's in the search criteria, it's exact value, to the value it's 11. So, go OK. And we're going to filter it. And we're going to move it pretty much pretty high up. So, we're going to go to the Wapity 4 drive. Then, under filter, to the value, we're going to go 17. That is the value of the Wapity 4 drive. Go OK. Now, we're getting pretty close now. So, we're going to go to the Goliath House track, which is one car less. Yeah, 16, OK. Now, there's a possibility that you might get two uh, values, but that's, that's kind of going to happen. So even though I've filtered it down, we're going to get two values here, so that doesn't really matter. Most of the time, it's usually the first one, so I'm just going to go add. Since we've now identified the address, all we have to do is close the emulator, right click, edit, under emulator address, copy this address, go OK. Under a new text document, we're going to put in hash which hashes comment most of the time. Then we're just going to put in hot rod rifle slot 1. That's actually the name, that's actually the label of the code, you can put whatever you like there. Then we just copy and paste the game shark address, or the emulator address, put in two zeros in front. And in our list here, uh, I want to have the vertigo hot rod uh, on our game shark code. So we're going to go copy. And then, just in Google, we put 36 in hex. That will now come up with a value of 24. I click Paste, File, Save. And with that, this file that you've just created, you've got to put that in the Cheats uh, folder of EPCXE. Then we're going to start up the emulator. Most of the time I just make it a safe state. This might look a little bit odd. Then we're going to pause the emulator by hitting escape. Go options, cheat codes, hot rod rival slot 1. If that does not appear, that means that you haven't got the uh, ID of the ISO uh, on the text document. This is required and it can change per region. So uh, this is for the US release, so it has US here. Um, of Vigilant 8 Second Defense. So if that doesn't work, make sure you find the ID code for your game. Most of the time it's actually uh, in the ISO uh, dump in the file name, or if not, or if you've actually made a dump of your own CD, uh, it's actually on the side of the case or listed on the disk. Uh, you just gotta find it, it's there somewhere. Um, and also there's like a PlayStation database I believe you can get it from. So since we've got the first Chico, we're gonna go Enable. Yeah, OK, run, continue, and now it's going to look a little bit weird because I've got uh, a certain graphics plugin, it's going to look different, but don't worry, the emulator is fine. So now all we can do is just start the game, and if all has gone well, then we are going to have a hot rod rival uh, through GameShark. So if, that's, if that happens, what you can do is now put that on real hardware, pretty cool. Um, it's really up to you though, so. And there we go, we got a Vertigo Hot Rod Game Shark with the need of actually doing the uh, hack tool. So there you have it, guys. I hope you learnt something. Uh, this is very cool. This can work for any static address, so don't forget that that is really useful. And um, yeah, so I hope you learnt something. And if this did really help you, uh, just let me know. And if you make any videos, please let me know. I'd love to watch them. 
uh, and I will see you again in the next hack tutorial.